Well, and welcome to Copperhead Road Homestead. We're glad you're here today. We'll be doing plan every day, hashtag plan every day, day nine today. But I'm also gonna be telling you about this little gym over here. Stay tuned. Uh, this plan over here is comfrey. This is a comfrey leaf. It's a little fuzzy on the back. That's one of the ways that you know it. There are two cultivars or two hybrids. Uh, there is Bocking 4 and there's Bocking 14. They were both named for a town in Russia. It's Russian comfrey. It's not fertile, uh, so the seeds won't produce. If you want to have this, then you've got to have it from either a transplant uh, from a crown uh, or the whole plant or just a tiny bit of root will uh, produce you some more as well. A uh, reason people like to grow this is because, number one, it uh, creates a lot of biomass. In some areas of the world where it's a more tropical and warm climate, uh, you can get several tons a year from a biomass for feed and uh, for uh, mulch and whatnot uh, from, uh, from uh, an acre of plants. In some areas of the world, you can harvest it like, uh, forget, like 12 times a year, uh, many, many times a year. Uh, but another reason is it's a dynamic accumulator. That's something in the permaculture world. And what that means is that it mines underneath the ground very deep, very deep roots that you know, punch through clay soil. Uh, so it helps improve your soil and it also mines for minerals deep down. Uh, and it brings that up and then you can just chop and drop these leaves uh, just cut it at the top and then drop it where it is you can make a compost tea out of it you can use it as a mulch around your fruit trees or around other trees as well and it's very very rich decomposes quite well uh, i've got a bunch of it over here and i got from Coe's comfrey uh, a couple years ago but right along here this electric fence that uh, was uh, did have goats in it before uh, I planted a bunch of root cuttings and I've transplanted several of these uh, a few times. I wanted to move some of this, so today I wanna dig up all of these and I wanna move them over close to my strawberry patch. Yeah, have you grown comfrey? Uh, there's again, two different varieties, Bocking 4, Bocking 14. Uh, Co at Coast Comfrey, where I got this, uh, suggested that uh, uh, Bocking 4 is better. I'm gonna try to put it all around my strawberries. I'm not sure if strawberries and comfrey go well together. If you know, then you can post here. Once I get this done, I might use our rototiller and till up uh, uh, this path right here, which is probably gonna end up making a lot more comfrey. If it does, then I'll just take that and I'll just keep on propagating it and propagating it. I'm gonna pull these up. I counted it earlier and there's about 17 of them. I'm gonna go put them by the strawberries. So actually it looks like there's far more than 17. It's several of them, three or four or five have come up. The one that I just pulled up, I counted as one and uh, there have been two like this. So if you're wondering what they look like when you pull them up, they were bunched together kind of like this. Uh, but this one's got a really long tap root. So that one's gonna be a really good one. And I can actually take this and snip it and make even more out of it, which I might actually do. Uh, put it all around the strawberries. But um, I'll, I'll probably put this one in their hole and cut this into a few uh, little cuttings and then just watch it and pay attention. It'll be around the strawberries next year. All right, so I gathered them up. I'm over here next to my strawberry patch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, plant them. So I planted these from cuttings uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, this is the second year they've come up. And some of them are very small like this. Here it is right next to my face so you can see how big it is. Uh, but some of them are a bit larger. Here's the one that's a bit larger. Here it is right next to my face so you can see the difference. And on these that are larger, I can clip these off, these pieces of root, and I can probably make at least two or three from just this section right here. Uh, those are all a couple inches long. I might just make two. And I can do the same thing on this side and make some more plants and then plant this. This is called a crown. Uh, crowns are better than cuttings, they say, uh, but uh, the whole plant is even better. I could just plant the whole plant, and uh, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I've got my pocket knife in my pocket. And I'm just gonna go along. Here's my strawberry patch. So right along the outside, along uh, the east and the west this is the west side and this is the east side i will uh, plant these every couple of feet until i run out i'll plant cuttings and i'll plant crowns and i'll just keep on planting them and then uh, next year i'll do the same thing i'll let you watch for just a minute i'll speed it up so you don't have to watch the whole thing this is uh, by the way what i'm planting on day nine of our plant everyday challenge 
We would love if you participate in that. If you haven't uh, already participated in it, the best place for you to uh, post it so I'll see it is on the Copperhead Road Homestead uh, Facebook group. Uh, you can post it on the page, you can post it on Instagram. I'll try to look at all those, but the very pl best place you can do it there or on YouTube itself. If you're a YouTuber, just use the hashtag plant every day and you can Google that to plant every day and see those. There's a friend of mine, the Wonder Why Farm. I won't plant these. So I planted 36 crowns right back here and then I planted about five cuttings. I bet just about every one of them make it. And then I've got these cuttings over here and I counted 50 cuttings that I made off of them. Here's one. Here's one that was a little thinner. Here's another one, you see the roots coming off of it. Uh, so whenever you plant these cuttings, you plant them flat on the ground or flat under the ground like this. You don't plant them up like this because every one of those will send shoots down and it'll make the uh, plant larger. This is day nine of our plant every day challenge. We encourage you to participate in it. I'm going to plant these and then get finished. And if you like this sort of thing, give us the thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you never miss a notification. You participate in the plant every day challenge as well. Share this on your social media. The very best ways you can help us is to watch our videos to completion and then uh, share it on social media with your friends so that others can watch it too. We appreciate you so much. Come back tomorrow.